How funky is your chicken? How funky is your chicken? How loose is your goose? My hole is totally loose. You know when you have an outfit made for something and then you think of it for that? Yes. Like you'll always think of this as my wait, Eden dress. This is when you were at Little Hammer competing yeah. in the 1992 Olympics. 92, Olympics. that's right. Yeah, yeah and Little your Hammer. skates wouldn't tie. No. You had to go up to the judges and show them your broken skate. And I said, I, I forgot, forgot how to, to ice skate. skate. Is that okay? okay? Can yeah. I have a score anyways? Did I tell you what, Sean White, when I worked with him and he told me, and I was like, he was like, congratulations on winning Drag Race. I was like, you have four Olympian gold medals. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But you don't compare to me. I'm, no, well, I want a cross-dressing reality yeah. show competition. Yeah, you, you slid down a hill. Hi, I'm looking for love in all the long places. Trixie Mattel. And I've been rubbing my asshole on the bathroom tiles again. <laughs> Katya. <laughs> and welcome to mm. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. No. Me no. And pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose. My thing fell off. Let's talk about love. Love. I do love love. I really do. If you can't explain being in love to a person who's never been in love. Sure you, you can. It, how would you explain it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be frank, I, um, I'm ready to fall in love. Obviously. Really? Look at this outfit. She's a Russian hooker. He's a bald bossy bottom. Get ready to barf, because this December Katya's ready for love. This film is banned everywhere. Look at this outfit. This says cry for help. Can I say something? I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> Can I say something? No, you cannot say it yet because I have to tell you why I'm in love with the idea of becoming in love. I'm ready to be controlled to the last. I'm ready to be micromanaged, scrutinized, and completely possessed by an Italian American man. That's not what love is. <laughs> It's Just not. so you know. It's not. It sounds like you want to be in an abusive relationship. That's exactly what it and is. Love you say is abusive, sort of... I say attentive. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not that you're not lovable. It's that I can't imagine you being in love with somebody. It happened once. It did? Who was it? Wow. I'll play, cue the music. Yeah. Throw the microphone down. Yeah. <laughs> it happened once and it was not requited. Really? Yes. What was it? A long time ago. Really? Many, many years ago. Are you making those up? <laughs> because when you're telling a real story, when you're telling a fake story, they sound exactly the same. So I never know what's happening. You want a boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Tell people you have a boyfriend. Because gay men pine for nothing more than something they can't have. If you start wearing a wedding ring, people will want to be your boyfriend. What I about a wedding dress? Not. Wedding dress? Left at the altar. Sympathy. Guy <laughs> guys don't want... Guy Sympathy, which is the name of your new fragrance. <laughs> the name of my new fragrance, Sympathy. It's the least you can do. It's a look. Hold it's kind of good. This is my, I'm falling in love. Why in this scenario are you running? <laughs> oh, why, wait, why, are you, why are you going, oh, I fell in love. Like you pissed your pants. Ooh, I'm falling in love down my leg. Just, <laughs> ow, 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 I fell in love. Ow, ooh, ow. Because, ooh, call the call doctor. What happened is when I, when I came home from the math tournament, I declined a ride. I said I would walk at summertime and I fell on a lawn dart that went up my pee and I started to pee and I fell in love. <laughs> I'm losing it. I know. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. I'm asking you for real. Yes. If you were to be in love, mm -hmm. What do you think that person would be like? Let me tell you. His name is Diego. Could, but I'm flexible on the name and the name only. So, <laughs> um, I'm pretty open, but his name has to be Diego. Yeah, yeah, I worked it out. He's about 38 to 42. He's from Mexico City, comes from money, but he made his own in um, uh, music engineering. He's a mathematical mind who loves music and shapes and patterns. He's not very good with languages, but he does speak English. And he moved to LA about four years ago, but has yet to have like a real good social circle. Mm -hmm. We meet at a club on a Sunday at 4 or 6 p.m. like a tea dance for goth people. <laughs> I will say this, you do have a little bit of an obsession with youth and beauty and you do like younger guys. I think you would probably fall in love with someone younger than you. I don't think so. I don't want that. What I, do you I, want? I don't, I just told you. That guy. How, have you been in love since you were 16? Uh, let's say just, let's say notable infatuations. 
Sure. That's about it though. Notable infatuations. Which is the name of your dating service. <laughs> Notable infatuations. <laughs> and it's like it's sponsored a, by sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Notable infatuations sponsored by sympathy. <laughs> Could you be in a throuple? No. The triangles are not good. A triangle is a stronger shape. Every side equally leaning on each other. But that, but that, but that sort of uh, each <laughs> right. That was some smart. <laughs> I love myself. But what if you don't weigh to the same? You're not. Then you're an isosceles. <laughs> and, or whatever, what are you, you know thin? What I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah. There's gotta be something in it for me though. I, now I've decided I need a French speaking boyfriend. Really? Yeah. I need to practice. What's the most, I mean, what's the most reliable? That's the best thing about relationships is what language do I wanna learn? I'm not joking. That's me and Megan, my friend Megan, we only, we only saw men as a, as a means to a, a linguistic end. Somebody who helped, because you need a lot of practice. You need somebody on the inside. But you know what French people love to do? What? Speak, Speak English. English! Perfectly. They're not trying to help you. They're surely not. Chinese, perhaps. That's a little too ambitious. I'm in my 40s. Yeah. Also, why do you need to know French? I don't need a one. Because he's French. Oh, that's what I, that's what I. Um, so you want, wait, you want a boyfriend to teach you French because you need French to speak to him because he's your boyfriend. That's a perfect triangle. <laughs> <laughs> perfect triangle. I stay up all night. The first time I fell in love, stayed up all night with butterflies in my stomach. Can I share an important Truly. story with you from my youth? Give me it that, that, give me that, ago. give me that mirror, would you? Okay, it's about <laughs> off in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a hotel that was connected to a mall. I was walking around the mall and I was like, I want to get a little <laughs> up action, right? Not at the mall, in my hotel room. So this guy was like, meet me at the second floor of the Neiman Marcus in the handicap stall. And I'm thinking to myself, girl, I'm not 12. Also, I have a hotel room. Yeah, come on. So let's love. go to the hotel room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight, right? Comes to the hotel room, tries it, tries it. He said, oh, I can't get, I can only like get into it if it's public. And I'm like, okay, damage, get out of here, right? I mean, yeah, okay. No so then he goes, oh, I guess I'll be at the second floor at the Neiman Marcus. And he leaves. And I was like, yeah, okay, bye. Three, you two, went. One. I'm not going to confirm or deny what happened <laughs> because I'm too famous to <laughs> off an anemus mark. You Neiman Marcus. Need this markup. You did. I need this markup. You did. That's what they should call it. They, need yeah. this markup. Need this markup. But let's just say. You did get. You. <laughs> Falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> I. Mm. But I thought you wanted to be in love. You said you were ready to be in love. I'm over it. Like you're ready to <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Why do you want to be in love? Oh, um, I think because I've, I've completely grown and changed over the last two days. Sorry, she's outgrown <laughs> yeah. her clothing. Um, and she's yeah. been panhandling for change yeah. for two I've days. been taking part in this um, intimacy workshop in Maine. And after two and a half days, I've decided that not only have I grown as a person, I've completely transformed and I'm ready to love and I want to do it now. And now you're teaching your own class. Yeah, sign up for my class. <laughs> sign up for my class. How, yeah, how to be available. Make yourself available. Don't miss out on the chance to love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I find falling in love to be very simple. I know that's not relatable content. I think it's simple. But I just Wait, have never had a problem. Like I think I'm just the personality type where I can fall in love with a lot of different types of people. I don't think I'm that person. I mean, it's not because I'm lucky and like the right men run at me. I think maybe I'm just very like- Well, you wanna be in a I'm relationship? I'm hungry, order for me. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Figure like, it out, fellas, yeah, my like, legs I'll are open. <laughs> I'm not a picky eater. Gotcha. This is not very complimentary to a boyfriend, though. That hair? No, what you're saying. The back of that wig. I'll choose anybody. <laughs> no, because I'm the, the back of that wig's not very complimentary. This is the this is the this is the uh, accurate metaphor for what you've got go like what I've got going on. Visible tracks. Yeah. Balding in the back. Visible tracks could go at any moment. Snatched up to in the front. Exposed skin in the back. <laughs> exposed. <laughs> Tumor, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like literal, like wound, wound, exposed wound in the back. But that's me. I am very. Do you need guys to have big? No, I was just gonna say I really don't. Micro penis. Micro penis. I'll f that. What's in the back? That's what I want to know. What's hanging micro out of that van? We talked about the plight of people with micro penises. We haven't talked about the people with micro ass. <laughs> that's a struggle. Can't even see. Them. Can't even see it. It looks like people think it's a freckle. Looks like they got a piercing at Claire's. Did you go to Piercing Pagoda and get your ass <laughs> done? <laughs> Loving you as a friend is pretty easy. Okay. You're a very lovable person. Okay. She haven't you noticed that everybody who meets you loves you? That's true. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not. You know. 
<laughs> do you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't often, I, you know. I, d- I definitely do love you very much, but to me that just means, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love me too. I, I love you, you and some, oh my God. <laughs> I am allergic to the other, to the other day, sincerity. you sent me a picture of you in a rubber mask with rubber t- on. Yeah. And I showed it to my boyfriend and he goes, that's your best friend. <laughs> and I went, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, and then I said, you know what? I have that mask and those t- in my closet. There you those go. two people found each other. Birds of a feather, mama. Birds of a feather. <laughs> If you have a question, you can tweet at World of Wonder using the hashtag Wow Help Me. me. How do I subtly drop a hint to my friend that I let him rail me harder than a bullet train if he asked? I don't know. Just say it. Well, do it. This one does. What? Oh, yeah. Which is fine. I'll say it. I say, hi. I am very sexually attracted to you, and I want to know if you want to f*** right now. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, let me know. I'll give you some time. I'm not gonna put you on the spot. Your fear of rejection has to be out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the thing. You gotta let that go. Yeah, let that go. If you find out they don't want to do it to you, yeah. it's not because you verbalized it. Worst thing, you lose a friend. People make friends every day. Also, somebody could just say, "I don't want to have sex with you," and you can still go on and be friends. Boom. And also, don't be weird or don't put them in the. Sometimes it's manipulative where you can kind of like, well, famous people can be crazy about it. You could convince anybody to sleep with you if you're famous. It has happened to me. I've slept with somebody really hot, yeah. and then I find out after the fact they've slept with a lot of drag, yes. cre- drag race queens. Oh, I don't like. I'm like, that. that's why you slept with me. Collecting You're like, Pokemon Go. Yeah, the bone collector. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. They just there's a catch. Ha- yeah, if people are way hotter than you, there's a catch. There's a catch. There's yeah. a catch. There's this guy online. On um, he's a, a model of some sort. He has the most beautiful face I've ever seen in my life. The most proportionally muscular, perfect human body ever. Speed. Hair, eyes, lips, teeth, everything. And then the tiniest little well. And it's, it's like, you know, sometimes there's a tiny little Yeah. I, I mean, has anybody ever, has a hookup ever been ruined because it's a small? No, that's not a thing. Never. Never. That's not a thing. No. There's so many other things you can do. So many. Wrap presents. Stretch it out. Yeah. If it's small, I'll just pawn it. Take this longer. <laughs> I'll add my own. Some putty. A taffy pull it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it off. I'm throwing it like pizza dough. All right, right there. Make this work. I'll yeah. stick a straw right in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you can't take me. If you can't take me at my fake silicone um, a tunic, then you don't deserve me at my bald silicone helmet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you can't handle me at my brown chiclets, you don't deserve me at my full veneers. <laughs> Poor <sleep. laughs> Brown chiclets. If you can't chiclets. handle me at my tramp stamp, you don't deserve me at my... My piercing. 